key point, in general, a fast, long-range and heavy lifting platform like the F-15 Eagle could be useful for deploying heavy payloads ranging from electronic warfare pods, anti-satellite or ballistic missile systems, hypersonic missiles to drone swarms. However, the Air Force already intends to maintain over 200 F-15 E strike eagles that could also perform these roles. The aviation world is abuzz with rumors that the U.S. Air Force is evaluating the purchase of a brand new F-15X model of the legendary 45-year-old F-15 Eagle twin-engine fighter. Marcus Westerberg first reported this possibility for Defense One, then expanded upon in an article by Tyler Rodaway at The Drive. Were a contract to materialize, the F-15X could become the Air Force's first new fighter that wasn't a stealth jet since 2001, paralleling a recent decision by the U.S. Navy to procure Super Hornet jets to serve alongside its F-35C stealth fighters, rather than allowing the F-35 to replace them. But just how significant are the upgrades, and do they justify purchasing more of the Air Force's oldest active fighter plane? The F-15X is specifically intended to replace a fleet of 235 F-15C and 2C F-15D fighters deployed for air defense of the coastal United States, Japan, and England. These air superiority fighters are fast, Mach 2.5, maneuverable and boast long-range APG-63V3 radars. However, the F-15C slash Ds date back to the mid-1980s and are quite likely to be retired early, as they would otherwise require expensive upgrades to remain airworthy. Boeing proposes to manufacture new multi-role F-15 XS based on an advanced F-15 Castrike Eagle variant currently in production for Qatar. Because the factory line will remain open through 2022 and the technologies have all already been developed, Boeing could skip over the development phase and plans to offer the F-15 X at a, presumably low, fixed cost, wherein an industry known for gigantic cost overruns. The USAF, for its part, could inexpensively adopt a plane for which it already has existing infrastructure and familiarity. Many F-15X improvements are sensible rather than slick, trading out the F-15C's 90s era hybrid avionics for full fly-by-wire systems, modern digital displays and helmet-mounted sights, new strengthened wings and more fuel-efficient F-110 turbofan engines would give the F-15X a remarkable 20,000-hour flight life, enough to last many decades of service. The new engines, which can be more cheaply maintained, also decrease the cost of operating an F-15X to $27,000 per flight hour from roughly $42,000. Rogaway claims this means replacing F-15C slash Ds with Xs would pay for itself in 10 years. Several avionic upgrades would have tactical implications. A built-in Legion pod carrying an IRST-21 infrared search and track system would outfit the F-15S with a high-resolution sensor with added utility against stealth aircraft. The Eagle's dated choose defensive suite would be replaced with a digital Eagle passive, active warning surveillance system, IPAWSTS. Recently cancelled for the likely to be retired F-15CS, IPAWS would give Eagles a better chance to detect, jam and decoy new long-range anti-aircraft missiles. F-15XS would also be fully outfitted with new APG-82V1 active electronically scanned array radars. A variant of the powerful APG-63V3 radar outfitted on most F-15CS, the APG-82 incorporates radar frequency tunable filters which allow the radar to simultaneously scan and jam at full efficiency and also features a digital maintenance capability that decreases upkeep requirements 24 the most attention-grabbing upgrades on offer are quadruple missile racks called Advanced Missile and Bomb Ejection Racks, AMBERS. The F-15C slash D can only carry eight air-to-air -air missiles. With four AMBERS under each wing and another under its belly, an F-15X could potentially carry 20 long-range AIM-120D missiles plus two short-range AIM-9X missiles on wingtip rails. 
The F-15X would also be capable of carrying air to surface munitions, and thus become a multi-role fighter capable of slinging up to 28 GPS guided small diameter bombs plus air-to-air -air missiles, or a smaller number of larger munitions such as AGM-88 anti-radar missiles, Chsao standoff-range glide bombs and even harpoon anti-ship missiles. Is it worthwhile? While the F-15X concept has been warmly received in some quarters, fellow TNI writer David Majumder offers a less flattering evaluation in this article by Zachary Keck. It's amazing this Boeing sales pitch is being swallowed hook, lead and sinker by the trade press. The Air Force will never buy this jet. It is useless inside heavily defended airspace if we are dealing with any sort of real military force. Undeniably, there is a commercial logic at play, though Lockheed has secured its long-term prospects with the F-35 stealth jet, Boeing seeks to divert defense dollars towards its fourth-generation jets, a tactic which has already paid off with new orders for fourth-generation Navy Super Hornets. The F-15X rumor purveyors stress it is meant to replace F-15CS not F-35S. However, funding would ultimately have to come from somewhere. Though the F-35 program has suffered infamous cost overruns and delays, reports indicate unit costs are finally declining towards the target $85 million per plane, meaning the price differential compared to the F-35 could be modest, with an F-15X plausibly coming between $50 to $75 million. Still, the F-35 would remain considerably more expensive to operate with a current flight hour cost of $50,000 per hour. Majumder correctly points out that the F-35 is more survivable against a capable opponent. Radar-equipped adversaries will detect an F-15 conspicuous profile from well over a hundred miles away and have a chance to shoot at or evade it, while an F-35 would be able to creep much closer. So are there roles an F-15X could perform more efficiently than an F-35 to justify maintaining them? The F-15C fleet currently operates in the air defense, superiority role. Interceptors traditionally require long range, high speeds, heavy payloads and far seeking sensors to patrol large swaths of airspace and swiftly detect, close with and destroy as many incoming attackers as possible. Though the F-22 air superiority stealth fighter excels at this job, the standing force of roughly 120 combat-coded Raptors is too small and valuable to rely upon to do all the grunt work. The F-35, or the older, shorter-range F-16, can perform this job but neither is optimized for it. The F-15 is designed for this mission. Compared to the F-35, it has a 50% greater maximum speed, Mach 2.5 compared to 1.6, can fly 10,000 feet higher, has a larger combat radius, 1,150 miles versus 870 miles, and could potentially carry more missiles. A stealth mode F-35 is limited to 6 to 8 weapons carried internally. However, the Lightning does retain one killer advantage. Adversaries likely won't detect one coming until far too late. However, for peacetime or lower intensity air defense purposes, think the conflict over Syria, a stealthy airframe might not always be desirable. For example, it might be preferable to chase off a bomber before it releases weapons than destroy one after it has launched its payload. Furthermore, unlike the F-15C, the F-15X would also be a multi-role jet that could supplement the F-15E Strike Eagle fleet on surface attack missions. However, Eagles would not be able to penetrate defended enemy airspace like the F-35 could, and both Russia and China have developed dense integrated air defense networks to deny large swaths of airspace. In a high-intensity conflict, that would limit the Eagle to defensive roles and to nibbling at the edge of defended bubbles with standoff weapons until air defenses are suppressed. In permissive environments where air defenses are minimal, however, the F-15X might be a more efficient strike platform than the F-35.